Hey, it's Jeremy again. And you know, as a lifelong Zionist, I wanted you to know how you can support Israel in these crazy times. Number one, fight the BDS boycott by buying things made in Israel, like Sabra Hummus, SodaStream, or American foreign policy. Number two, fight them back. Boycott things made in Palestine, like olive oil, handicrafts, or Jesus. Number three, pay extra taxes. You know, since 1948, America has given $317 billion to Israel. That's your tax money. So when you pay the IRS, throw another 20% on top just for Israel. I mean, just look at this child. For the cost of a cup of coffee a day, you can kill him. Number four, pray for Israel. There are 1.8 billion Muslims in the world, all praying for Palestine. So it would make sense that God is biased. But every time you pray for Israel, one of their prayers gets canceled out. Even better, pray the Muslim prayers backwards and even the score. Number five, Christians, while you're in church, please leave out the parts of the Bible that are critical of Israel, like the Old and New Testament. Number six, Palestinians are known for anti-Semitic genocidal slogans like from the river to the sea or please stop killing us. So respond with pro-Israel, life-giving chants, like from the Jordan to the Med, all of you will end up dead. You get the idea. And you know, unfortunately, Zionist has become a bad word recently, but we can change that. Start using it for good things, like, man, that new outfit is so Zionist. You get the idea. Number eight, write letters to Muslim leaders, thanking them for all the work they're doing in the recent conflict which is absolutely nothing. It's great. Couldn't do it without you. Number nine, vote. Let your voice be heard. Whether you're Republican or Democrat, it doesn't matter who you vote for. They all support Israel. Number 10, share this video. Whether you're American, European, or just an Indian guy who thinks Palestine and Pakistan are the same thing, Israel needs your support on social media more than ever. Because honestly, it's not going very well. 